I've worked with parents for years and years and years. How many of you would say the kids are a little different than they used to be? See, and I disagree. I've been working with kids 30 years, and I don't think they're any different 30 years ago than they are today. I think parents are different. I think sometimes our parents didn't worry about us as much. Number one, our parents didn't care whether you and I were happy. How many of you are my age, 45 and older? How many of you would agree our parents didn't care whether we were happy? If they sent us to our room, were they sitting in the kitchen in a deep discussion of whether they destroyed our self-esteem? <laughs> no. I did a survey 25 years ago. I surveyed all sorts of parents, and I said, what is it you want from your kids? And you know what they said 25 years ago they wanted for their kids? Number one, they wanted their kids to be respectful. Number two, they wanted them to be hardworking. Number three, they wanted them to be compassionate. Those were the goals of our parents. Whether we were happy or not wasn't really an issue. They wanted us to be respectful and hardworking and compassionate human beings. I did a survey about two years ago, 500 parents. I asked them, what do you want for your kids? You know what their number one answer was? We want our kids to be happy. Hmm. Happy more than hardworking. Happy more than respectful. Happy more than compassionate. I'm going to tell you something, all the parents in this room, if your number one goal in your life is to make your children happy and they figure that out, you've handed them a loaded machine gun. And every single time they want something, all they have to do is act unhappy. Sadly enough, I have discovered that the average marriage is just about as happy as their least happy child. That's how much our children's happiness plays upon our adult relationships. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't make your kids happy. How many of you have ever had children that have told you they were bored? I'm bored. Ah, you know what that tells me? If you have a child that will tell you they're bored, that tells me a lot about your parenting style. What would our parents have done? If I had told my dad I was bored? Bored? Kathleen Connie's bored. You know what? We have a garage that needs cleaning out. <laughs> we got a yard that needs mowing. My dad would walk in when I was totally bored and say, are you bored? I'd go, no, no, I've got so much work to do, I can't tell you how much work i got to do. <laughs> how many of you in here trust your children? Hands up, please. <laughs> are you out of your minds? You really trust your kids. How many of you in here have ever done anything as a teenager that you've not yet shared with your parents? Why would kids today be any, can I please, if there's one parenting tip I can give you, it's this. Don't trust your kids. <laughs> What's the job of a child? How many of you in here have adolescents and teenagers? Adolescence begins at nine, teenagers end at 32. <laughs> What's the job of an adolescent and a teenager? You know what their job is? To do dumb things, to not make healthy decisions, to think that they're immortal and they can last forever to not care what you think as adults and parents because they're so caught up in their peers. Isn't that what a kid does? Isn't that what a teenager does? That's their job, to make all sorts of mistakes and do dumb things and make bad decisions so that they learn through consequences how to grow up and be a decent, healthy, functional human being. And what's the job of a parent? Our job is to love them so much we don't trust them further than we can throw them because we know they're not always going to make good decisions and we're there to catch them when it happens. And sometimes, how many of you have ever had your kids say to you, you don't trust me? And the average parent freaks out, oh, yes, I do, yes, I do. No, look at it. When my kids would say to me, mom, you don't trust me, I'd say, you're right. Because trust isn't something you're born with. Trust takes years, it takes decades. But I'll tell you this, I would say to my daughters, whether I trust you or not is totally up to you. Every time you make a decent decision to drive the car safely with other children in it, I trust you more. Every time you meet your curfew, I trust you more. Every time you bring home a decent grade that contributes to your future, I trust you more. Every time you bring a friend into this house that's a good, loving, caring, respectful human being, I trust you more. Every good decision you make allows me to feel more comfortable trusting you. But then you look at your children and say, but you got to know this, reputation, ooh, gone like that. You can make good, healthy decisions and do one really scary thing, stupid thing, bad decision, and all of a sudden, you go back and have to start all over again. So ladies and gentlemen, I want you to love your kids, but I want you to love your children so much that you watch the moves they make and you're there to catch them.